Hello everyone, I am Saitit and welcome back to my channel Saitikur and today's video I like to do the Call of Duty default graphics gameplay comparison between the Poco F3 GT vs IQ7 device. So this is another uh, question a lot of users I am getting uh, which phone has got what kind of graphics settings can you please compare them. The reason is because the Call of Duty game has been updated recently. That is the reason a lot of users are actually waiting for this kind of review. Let's see which phone has got what type of default settings in them. And the IQ7 has got the Snapdragon 870 and the Dimensity 1200 is present in the Poco F3 GT. Let me start the game at the same time. So we'll try to see friends which phone is really optimized for the Call of Duty to play at higher graphic settings and maximum FPS. So that is what I'm going to look after this in this kind of testing. So in case if you want me to compare any other game, so let me know in the comment section below. So definitely I'll be able to do that kind of comparison in my channel. As you can see, this is a new type of interface. We'll, we'll be able to see it with the new update. So let's see whether the Dimension 1200 got any kind of update or not with this kind of uh, latest version and let's go to the settings first and you can see the different complete options and even the settings options also completely changed they moved from the top to right side as you can see here now let's go to the graphics with the graphics yes here's the graphics and as you can see now we do have the option which is a maximum high and maximum fps as you can see exactly now let's see whether you can actually use a very high and maximum or not no you cannot do that so in the dimension 1200 right now till it is not optimized to support maybe at this kind of uh, high graphics and to play at high fps you cannot do that as you can see exactly and where is in the poco sorry in the iq7 device in the iq7 with the snapdragon 870 chipset i think yes you as you can see friends with the very high and maximum graphics you can actually play without any problem in this iq7 device at this moment you can clearly see that so few of the users that did ask this kind of question that is the reason i thought of making this kind of video and giving you some kind of clarification what is happening with the default settings so now only the battlegrounds mobile game is really optimized i think only for the i think realme x and max only i think at this moment still the poco f3 gt did not receive that kind of 90 fps with the update maybe hopefully in the future we might get that kind of update as well so let's do the mini gameplay in this poco f3 gt using this kind of uh, trigger option let's see how accurate they are how fast they are actually that is what i'm going to exactly check here that's what I'm trying to sh show you at this moment. As you can see, it's not bad. They are really faster and accurate as well. As you can see, there's not much issues. I can say definitely using this kind of uh, triggers it's kind of fast no problem so friends you cannot play with the high graphics and maximum fps in this phone ultimately As you can see friends right now it was really great using this kind of triggers no issues till now as you can see here so in case if you want me to do any other gaming review let me know in the comment section below as you can see So friends, it's a quick review using the triggers and comparing the both default graphics settings. This is just a normal default graphics settings only. I'll try to do the complete gameplay comparison side by side in the future. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. Whether the Call of Duty is supported with the 120 FPS or not, all those kind of testings, I'll definitely do that in the next video. So thank you for watching this video, friends. And the seeing the next video, friends, until then stay tuned. Hopefully the Dimension 1200 processor should get the up uh, updates and should get the optimized in the future. Let's see what will happen. In the past, the Snapdragon Snapdragon process were ruling, but let's see right now with this kind of change into the dimensity process, all of the phones, maybe I'm not sure exactly, but let's see. So thank you for watching this video, friends, and see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned for more updates. Meanwhile, bye.